Hey everyone, welcome back to Bot Sailor. Are you tired of manually copying lead information from your WhatsApp chats into your HubSpot CRM? What if you could automate that entire process? Imagine a customer chatting with your bot on WhatsApp, providing the details, and in seconds, that lead appear in HubSpot. Sounds too good to be real, right? Well, that is. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to build this powerful automation using Bot Sailor for your WhatsApp chatbot and N8N as your automation powerhouse and HubSpot for your CRM. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Now, before we get started, here's what you will need a Bot Sailor account with a WhatsApp bot set up and active, an N8N account self hosted and publicly accessible, or you can purchase N8N's premium plan, a HubSpot CRM free or paid account. Our workflow will look like something like this. Bot seller collects lead data through WhatsApp chatbot, sends data to Anytime's webhook, then Anytime creates or updates contact in HubSpot, and that's it. Simple and powerful. All right, first, let's set up Bot seller chatbot to collect the lead information. So let's go to Bot seller dashboard, then to chatbot manager. After that, I'm gonna Head over to bot reply option for my WhatsApp bot right here. Now, here you can edit your existing bot flow or you can click on the create button for a new bot flow like me. Okay, so as you can see, this is my flow builder canvas. Click on the start bot flow component and set it up. Give it a trigger keyword, give it a title, add a label to filter out customers easily. Or you can also remove a label from here. This option is for sequence messages. If you want to send a sequence message to your customers, you can use it. This is a very handy tool for retargeting customers. Now, using this assign option, you can transfer customers chat to your support team using this assign conversation to group option. Or you can assign a specific agent for handling this chat using this user option. Next, for this option, you can just send this chatbot's conversation data to any third party website or software using this webhook option. Basically what N18 does, you can do it here in bot seller too without needing the N18 actually. Uh, so anyway, and finally this option, you can send your chatbot data directly in your Google Sheet and save it. Now I'm going to create a brand new user input flow to collect customer data. So give it a campaign name. And we're gonna design a super simple conversation to grab all the lead data we need. I'm just gonna add a few question blocks right here. For the first one, let's grab their full name. I'm gonna type in, what is your name? And then for the reply type, I'll set it to text. You can see I'm saving this to custom field name, just like that. Next up, we will need an email address. So I'm adding new question block. This time I will ask what is your email and set the reply type to email. I'm saving this one to system field email and save it. And finally for the phone number, I will take one more new question block and I'm gonna write what is your phone number and I'm setting the reply type to phone and saving it to the system field again. To wrap it up nicely, I'm just adding a quick thank you message at the very end. Now here's the most important part of this bot seller section. We need to tell where to send this data. So open the user input flow component again. On the left side of the my screen, you're gonna see the send data to webhook URL. I'm gonna leave this URL field blank for now because we need to go and grab the URL from the N18 first. So let's go get it. But first, let's set up the N18 to receive the data WhatsApp sends. Log into your N18 account, create a new blank workflow, add a webhook node as the first step, configure the webhook node, set the HTTP method to post, keep the authentication as none for now, copy the product URL from your webhook node. Now activate the workflow by toggling the inactive switch to active, and go back to bot seller and paste the web production URL into send data to webhook URL in field. And now let's test if it works or not. So I will open my WhatsApp. So I will just trigger the bot with the keyword that we gave earlier. And the bot just start asking the questions. So that means the bot is working perfectly. Now let's quickly answer all the questions and check if the data is transferred to anything or not. And as you can see, the data is perfectly transferred to Anytime. So let's move on to connecting HubSpot CRM to Anytime. In order to connect HubSpot with Anytime, you will need to have an HubSpot private app token. 
it's a bit complex task so i'm just gonna show you how you can create your own private app so log into your hubspot account go to settings then to integrations and private apps click on the create private app option give your app a name like init and bot seller leads now go to scopes tab and click on add new scope expand the crm section check this read and write option over here now click the update at the bottom of the sidebar then click create app in the top right corner a pop-up will appear you will see an access token copy the token immediately and this is what init needs actually so you can just close the pop-up right now now let's bring that HubSpot connection into Anytin and map our lead data. Go back to your Anytin workflow at the HubSpot node after your Wavehook node. In the HubSpot node's parameters, scroll down to Contact Actions and select Create or Update a Contact option. Now click on the Credential to Connect with drop-down menu and choose Create New Credential. In the pop-up menu, look for credential type as App Token. This is what accepts your token. Paste your access token into the app token field and click save. You should see connection test successfully. Now map the contract properties using the expressions. This is crucial for getting the right data from your Weibo. The code of the expressions that I'm writing right now will be given in the description. So you can just copy it from there and uh, use it in your case. Save your Anytin workflow and we're good to go. All right, the moment of truth. Let's see our full automation in action. Ensure your Anytin workflow is active and go to WhatsApp to trigger your bot seller chatbot. Now provide the test data like your name, your email address and phone number and go to Anytin, double click on the webhook node and check the data if it's okay. I think it's okay. Now go to the HubSpot CRM node, here it's also okay. Now let's go to HubSpot CRM so, um, website and um, here as you can see that uh, our example test data is saved in the is HubSpot CRM. So congratulations, our test is successful. And there you have it, a fully automated lead capture system using Bot Seller, Anytain and HubSpot. Let me just give you a quick recap of everything again. First, you will need to create a lead collection chatbot using bot seller. Then you will need to go to Anytain for setting the webhook. After that, you will need to connect your Hasper private app with Anytain. And finally, you will need to map the data. And that's it. This powerful setup not only saves your time and prevents manual errors, but it also ensures your sales team gets leads instantly, leading to a faster follow-ups and better conversion rates. If you found this tutorial helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe for more automation tutorials like this and let me know in the comments below what other automations you would like to see in the future. Thanks for watching the video, have a nice day, see ya.